Hey guys, it's Alana and today I am back with something that I haven't done in a very long time on my channel and that is a book tag. Remember that time when I used to be a booktuber? Well today I figured I would relive those days and do a book tag because I found one that looked really fun and I wanted to join in. It is the do I have that book tag. So basically it's a list of questions asking you if you have these certain books on your shelves and then you have to go through and try to find them like a scavenger hunt, which I think sounds really fun. I will leave the original creator of the tags video linked in the description down below so you can go check hers out. I wasn't tagged obviously to do this, I just thought it'd be fun. So let's just jump into it. There's 20 things I have to find. So the first question is, do you have a book with deckled edges? I actually have several books with deckled edges. One of them is right here. It is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I just know this because I remembered the fact that it did. Deckled edges is when a book has uneven pages. I I don't really love deckled edges, but I mean, they look cool, so that's nice, I guess. It's just a little bit annoying when you're reading it. Second question, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I think so. Doesn't one of the Harry Potter books have three or more people on the cover? Goblet of Fire has four people on the front cover. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? So I'm gonna assume this means if you were reading a book and that book mentioned a fictional work and then the author wrote the fictional work, because if that's true, True. Then Carry On by Rainbow Rowell kind of fits the bill because this was mentioned in Fangirl. Cinder is based on Cinderella, so there's that too, just in case Carry On didn't count. Do you have a book with a title exactly 10 letters long? Probably, right? Wow, I just looked at one. Reality Boy by A.S. King. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Seven letters in the first word and three letters in the last word. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter. Yes, I do. It is up here. It is stream punks. Starts with an S, ends with an S. We're just not going to read the subtitle. The subtitle is very long. This is a book all about YouTube. It was very interesting. Do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes, I have several. Most of them are these little supernatural mass markets. They're so cheesy looking, but I don't know. I've never read them, so I can't judge. It's just they look really cheesy. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? The the one that most comes to mind for me is V.E. Schwab. Her actual name is Victoria Schwab. However, she writes under the name V.E. Schwab. I guess J.K. Rowling would also work for that. But like, it's their names. It's just, they don't use their full names. So they're kind of like pen names. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, the entire Harry Potter series. So that's kind of the easy way out. So back here I have Maximum Ride, the whole Anna and the French Kiss companion trilogy. They all have the main character's names in the titles. Do I have a book with two maps in it? Empire of Storms has a map that's two pages. I feel like Game of Thrones also has a lot of maps. I don't know, does it count if it's two pages of a map? Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Yes, I do. I have the entire Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This was turned into the Shadowhunters TV show. Soon to be an ABC Family original series. That was back when it wasn't called Freeform. I watched a couple episodes of Shadowhunters and then I just really couldn't take it anymore because I'm such a big fan of the books and the show kind of butchered them. Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else like a celebrity, athlete, politician, TV personality, etc.? Yes, quite a few, but I have to go with The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher because I love her a lot. Number 12, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Probably. Yep, here we go. The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, and there is a clock tower, Big Ben, up in the corner here clocks, which makes sense for this series. Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. It's the 100 best poems of all time. I like poetry. I'm going to be taking a poetry class this semester, so we'll see how that goes. I like reading it more than I like writing it because, as my friend Lynn will tell you, I am very self-critical, especially when it comes to my writing. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? We have Scythe by Neil Schusterman. It is a Prince Award for Experience in Young Adult literature honor book from the American Library Association. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? I don't know, but all of my books are in alphabetical order by author's last name, so it'll be easy to find if I do. Wow. I actually do. Amy Kaufman has the same initials as me, AK. So there you go. Thanks, Amy. Do you have a book of short stories? I have the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales collection, so this is a book of short stories that are somewhat creepy. And I also have the Bangron 
Chronicles, which is a selection of short stories all about Magnus Bane from the Moral Instruments. Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? That is very specific. I know that Order of the Phoenix is the longest Harry Potter book, but I don't know how many pages it is. No, this one's over. Oh, yes I do. I found it. The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. It ends on page 502. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? So many of them! Mortal Instruments had a movie. Maximum Ride very unfortunately had a movie. Fifth Wave had a movie. The Hobbit had a movie. So many books that I have have been turned into movies. Do you have a graphic novel? Yes. Watchmen by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons is probably one of the most popular graphic novels ever. And the last question, do you have a book written by two or more authors. Yes, I have several, but I'm going to share my friend Lynn's book that she wrote with Katherine Larson, Spangasm Supernatural Fangirls. Gotta give my friend her shout outs. And that concludes my bookish scavenger hunt. I think I found pretty much everything on the list, except I struggled a bit with finding a book with two maps in it, and that was mainly just because I was too lazy to keep looking, because I was looking through all my fantasy books, and I was just like, all of these have maps, but most of them are just two pages instead of two separate maps, so I'm sure I have a book with two maps in it somewhere. I just didn't feel like continuing to look. But overall, this was a really fun tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I love doing tags that let me interact with my bookshelf because I love my bookshelf. I'm very proud of it. Be sure to check out the original video linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!